What's up guys, Andy from Greek's Garage and today I'm going to be showing you how I install these underwater boat lights on the 1977 Hawaiian Day Cruiser I have. I found these underwater LED lights on Amazon for pretty cheap so today we're going to show you how I installed them and test them out on the water. I'm also going to leave a link down in the description below on where you can pick these up on Amazon. Well let's not waste any time and let's get to it. So I don't actually have video of me installing the LED lights, but it's pretty straightforward and I'm going to show you how I did it. So all you have to do is drill a small hole all the way through the transom big enough to fit the wire through. And then there's two small screws on either side to secure the light. I also put silicone on the back of the light before I screwed it down and then put silicone all around the edges. And then I did the same thing for this side. I made sure I put plenty of silicone around all the edges to make sure it's all watertight. Now let's jump inside the boat and I'll show you how I wired it up. Okay, you can see the wire coming out right here. I also put silicone in the hole right there. And I spliced it in with the rear running light. And yes, I'm going to be fixing up this rat's nest of wiring right here. And here's where the other wire comes out for the other light. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, I spliced them in with the rear running lights. So when you pop the lights on at night, the LEDs will turn on. Now here they are on in the middle of the day. I was actually surprised they were pretty bright, so I can't wait to see them out in the water at night. So these are the original gauges that came with the boat. Uh, some of them aren't working correctly and they're starting to fade a little bit, so I decided to upgrade them and change all the gauges. So here's a little look at them before I change them all out. Okay, here's all the new gauges installed. I just have to put the new hour meter in, but that's not a big deal. But so far, they're looking pretty nice. I also installed some blue LEDs to match the rest of the boat. And I'll have a link in the description below on where I purchased those. Okay, here are them completely installed. I think they look really clean, especially with the blue LEDs really make them pop at night. Now here's what they look like at night out of the water. I was pretty impressed on how bright they were since I only paid 40 bucks for the pair. But we'll see what they look like once we get in the water. I also installed about 65 feet of LED strip in the interior that you can change to any color, but I have it on blue now to keep it with that blue theme. So tomorrow afternoon we're going to be hitting the Sacramento River and wait around till it gets dark to see what these lights look like on the water.
So now that the sun's going down, you can start to see the blue LEDs come through the water. So far so good, but I can't wait to see what they look like when it's really dark out. Alright, so overall I was really impressed on how these cheap LEDs worked in the water. Let me know what you thought and please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching.